Profeta Trabón Ponga. Are you feeling the music? Yeah. Okay, you guys are feeling the music? Yeah. Not you, her. She's feeling the music about the lady Mountain Don Puente, the king of Latin music. Born Ernest Anthony Puente Jr. back in 1923. April 20th, 1923. In Spanish Harlem. Puerto Rican Boricua, what do you say, huh? From home beginnings with Grandma Lucia in the Bronx, New York, and Spanish Harlem. No, BX. Is New Yorkers in the house? Any New Yorkers in the house? You are? You're a little witness protection out here, right? Eh? <laughs> You're not here in the mountains, in Stony Mountains, in Tennessee. They're really looking for you in Brooklyn. <laughs> nice to see some fellow New Yorkers. My father was born and raised in Spanish Harlem, and New York was really the key place for Mambo music in the 1940s and 50s. With the likes of Duke Ellington, Count Basie, my father was very influenced by these greats. And you can hear it in the music. The arrangements that we're performing tonight are arrangements from my father's sessions back in the 1940s and 50s. And one nightclub was real shine above all the others, which was the Palladium, a very popular nightclub in New York City. With the likes of Tito Rodriguez, Machito, Johnny Pacheco, the Queen Sega Cruz, they all performed at this beautiful place. The Palladium was everybody's place. All races, creeds, and colors came together for one purpose, and that's to dance mambo music. Now, today you guys call it salsa. <laughs> salsa tomate guonia. Salsa spaghetti. Salsa is when you put your chips in over there in the beach, right? Can I have some salsa with the chips, please? What you're hearing, ladies and gentlemen, this evening is Afro-Cuban music. Afro-Cuban music. Somontuno, rumba, cha cha cha, guan guan go. This music was built in Africa, brought over to the Dominican Republic, the island of Cuba, and Puerto Rico, and then became, when it went to New York, thanks to Johnny Pacheco, became salsa. But the music is Afro Cuban music, and these are Pico Puente style of playing timbales. And my father is very instrumental in bringing this instrument to the front of the orchestra. Now, ever all the footage that you guys just saw is part of an exclusive documentary series we are doing in the state of Tito Puente on the life and legacy of Tito Puente. Woo! You're seeing exclusive footage. It's going to come out towards the end of the year, and I'm very excited to share it with you here tonight here in Knoxville. And the reason why is because the spirit of Tito Puente lives here. My father used to perform at the university over here all the time, and he performed at many festivals all around Tennessee. He loved coming. He probably performed in this building. I don't know. This building has been here a very long time. But Tito Puente loves coming to Knoxville, bringing his spirit, his joy, and of course the imagery of him here brings us closer to his music. Now throughout his entire career, he had over 10,000 arrangements, 186 albums to his credit, a seven-time Grammy Award winner, 14 nominations, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In the illustrious career, you might have seen him on uh, a couple of movies like Mambo King, Armin Neighbors and John Candy, Raider Days of Woody Allen, you saw him on The Simpsons. Tito Puente, who shot Mr. Burns? You may have seen Tito Puente on Sesame Street. There's a couple of friends there arguing with Oscar the Grouch about mambo music. Tito Puente was a household name. And I encourage you guys to go home after the show and Google Tito Puente. Enjoy his music. He loves so much. I talked to Alexa the other day. I said, Alexa, play Tito Puente music on a Friday night. Not one song was repeated the entire weekend. It kept playing people what they music. That's how much catalog he has. So I encourage you guys to teach your kids about this music and enjoy the music from an available people. Always with your heart. Now, with that being said, I want to do now something, Dad, that you dislike the most. My father's right there. I see him in the light. I'm going to play in Knoxville, Tennessee, a salsa! So then, boom! Thank you for the lightning bolts. <laughs> this one's for you guys. Aquí está la buena canción se llama Juventud del Presente. I was going to say it in English. Juventud del Presente. That's how my Jewish lawyer says it. Mazel tov. Here we go.
Qué chévere, qué chévere. Qué rico. Bueno, ¿cómo se siente, gente latina? Bueno, ¿dónde está Puerto Rico? ¿Dónde están aquí? Sí. ¿Dónde están los mexicanos? Tequila. ¡Colombia!
Ah, ok. Un fuerte aplauso. Ahí está la noche. La orquesta Naxo Salsa Hip Band. Aquí. These are my friends from Naxo. They're actually from all around the world. And uh, I appreciate you all. Un fuerte aplauso para los bailadores. ¿Cómo están los bailadores? 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 Esta noche, para el Perico de Tito Puente, vive siempre en su corazón. My father built this music for dancers like yourselves. And I appreciate you guys being here, and all you guys too, dancing on the strong. I appreciate it. Gracias. You know, I travel around the world in perpetuity, keeping Tito Puente's name alive. And of course, I do with these fantastic musicians. We played a couple of days ago, one song. <laughs> We're out in Nashville and kind of rained on us, but we wanted to... We wanted to uh, come out here and complete the whole, uh, complete the whole actual show. I'm so glad that we do it. And by the way, I want to give a big shout out to my girl Diana. She's right here. We got a female phone out for her right here. Let's go. Carlos, 
Joshua, where's yours, man? Take your, take your closet. <laughs> Be safe, man. You want to bring it to that. But these are the shirts that are available. This is called the Salsa Bundle Pack. Come meet me and my wife after the show. Tell me a story about Tico Puente. Maybe you might have seen my father in concert. Maybe you've met him before. Maybe you hired him for your wedding or divorce party. <laughs> Something. I would love to hear more about him. Bring me closer to him. And tell me about how Tico Puente's music affected you, you know, throughout your entire life and, and how it made you want to dance. Because my father's music was built for that. He's no longer with us in a physical form, but his spirit always will live on. He's a household name we need to take. And I always try to keep his name going, and that's my job. My last name is Puente, and in Spanish means bridge. And that's what I've been doing for the past 24 years. I'm bridging the new generation to the music of my father's years. So it's been 24 years. So a kid who's maybe 18, 17 years old never saw Pico Puente or heard of him. So what I try to do is present the music to the best form that I can and to teach the new generation about this music. They got to teach these, more of these kids in classes and schools about history and Latin music. It has to be placed. We're missing that in the schools. So please teach your kids about Johnny Pacheco, Eddie Palmieri, our queen, Celia Cruz, Pico Puente. Please, please, they can learn about Pat Pony, Latin Reasons. They learn. Okay, Mark Anthony, Taylor, all that, they're all on team. But teach them the history, the history that's so important. And that's what I've been doing for the past 23 years. Keeping now 53 years old, all white hair, thank God. But that's what I've been doing. And it's my, it's my duty as a son to make sure you guys will remember Vito what is me and teach your kids about it. And your grandchildren. Thank you. Hopefully you want to chat tonight. Presenting this music, entertaining you, and you guys again are looking at some fantastic footage, exclusive footage, never before seen for a documentary series. You want to learn more about it? Go to TitoPointeJuniorHop.com or just find me on social media, Instagram, all that. I'm all about it. That's me on it. It's not something else running it. And they love hearing from the fans too. I want to do a tune now. I want to dedicate this one to my wife simply because she is tired of me. <laughs> <laughs> She's been with me like we've been all summer just going. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for, for celebrating Dad's legacy with you. I appreciate you. And I appreciate your hot sauce. And thank you for not poisoning me. You know, she's so pushy, I tell you that, right? <laughs> right. Bro, all right, this one is called Que Sera, and my father wrote it for my mother. By the way, my mom is still with us, 82 years young, and all the footage that you're seeing is from Martin Point Check it out.
This right here is part of a Google Doodle, so I'm seen by about 20 million people, and uh, it's still in the high, it's the highest rated Google Doodle ever, which is amazing, by Kito Kuinke. And they do it uh, every single Hispanic Heritage Month. So look out for this September, October, September 15th to October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month. And we celebrate the king, and of course, there ain't no king without a queen, Sega Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've seen it online, but it's out there now. She is the first Afro-Cuban Latina on the United States border. The first in history. Azuma! My God, no, my Marina, Celia Cruz. And I'm so honored that I got to spend so many years with her. Her and Pedro Knight were icons and legends in their own right from the island of Cuba. Mantasera Cuba, and she just really shined the light on the Latino culture around the yeah. world along with my father. Yeah. They were ambassadors. Yeah. Not only that, but they traveled to countries that they didn't know English nor Spanish, like China, Japan, Indonesia, all these yeah. countries that didn't know any language of Hispanic culture or understood English either, and they translated their music, and they Woo. spoke through their music, and that's why Celia and Tito Puente are sorely missed in this world, because they took our music and brought it to the masses of major amounts of people from India all the way to Japan to Russia, around the planet, and back home right there where it started at the Palladium Bowl in New York City. It's nice to see that you guys are still Tito Puente fans after all these years. I appreciate each and every one of you being here tonight, and I'm pretty sure you saw a movie called Mambo Kings. You got it on VHS. <laughs> but they were having a laser dress. The classic movie, Mambo Kings, or Mama Santa, and Kevin Bellers. I'm not still trying to find the streaming of that. It's got to be on Paramount or somewhere, right? One of those streaming services. Mambo Kings, a fantastic movie about the Castillo Brothers from Cuba. My father, Tito Puente, played himself there, so he said, yeah. And it was an amazing experience that my father got to be in that movie. You'll see some footage up there of Tito Puente in the movie, Mambo Kings. And I want to play a tune now from uh, this. Is, we're celebrating this song's 75th anniversary. Yeah. 75 years ago, Tito Puente wrote the song in 1949. Anybody from 1949? Any of you guys from 1949? <laughs> I'm looking right at you. <laughs> Don't let this fight in. It's a classic tune, and it's built for salsa dancing and mambo dancing. And it became a worldwide hit. You might have seen it in the Disney show called Groot. So Tito Point is not part of the MCU universe, which is the Marvel universe. And uh, of course, Mambo Kings and many other classic movies or Bad Boys. It's in Bad Boys. It's a bunch of different movies, too. A fantastic song. Enjoy it. And I'm going to feature our percussion players on this particular tune. This is called Ran Can Can. Here we go.
love you very much. Muchísimas gracias para mi gente latina. Que viva Tito Puente. Go home, Google Tito Puente tonight. Learn a little bit about him this whole week. Play his music. And I want to dedicate this entire show. Oh, I'm emotional. A gentleman who played the orchestra of my father for 35 plus years. Passed away yesterday. He was an amazing man. His name was John Dandy Rodriguez Jr. He was the bongo player for 35 years with the Tito Puente Orchestra. We lost him yesterday, but I dedicate this entire show to him. Johnny, Dandy, wherever you at. I miss you. I love you. My uncle. Tito. The hurt inside, being born and raised by his family, he's funny. Uh, Don't get choked up. But uh, his spirit lives on. So when you listen to Tito Puente's music, you're going to hear Johnny on the bongo. Yes! And he's part of it. Yeah. So I want to share that with you. <laughs> Sorry, that's okay. Come with me after the show. Take a picture with me. I'm going to hang out with my bush and Brooklyn wife. Vaya, vaya, vaya. And I'll leave you with this fantastic song. You guys heard of the band Carlos Santana? Yeah. Who is that? Yo no como con Carlos Santana. Yo, ¿cómo se está poniendo? Daddy Yankee, yo, yo, yo. Pero ¿quién es Santana? No sé. ¡Que viva Santana! ¡Vamos, que Santana! ¡Vamos, 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 Let's do it, me and you. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, get hold it.